What's good, YouTube? It's Ray Drill. So, in today's video, I'm going to bring y'all my favorite run defense versus any under center formation. So, if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. Now, before I do get into the video, I do ask if you enjoy any part of this video, or if you find any value out of this video, please do me a favor and watch at least 30 seconds of the ad that you see throughout the video. That way, I can actually get paid. Because if you didn't know, if you hit skip ad, I actually do not get paid for the. Um, for the ad but anyways let's do a hop into the so the only thing that you need to know is that you need to have your auto flip on now you can adjust any of these zones as you like that's completely up to you it will not affect the run defense whatsoever so we're gonna be talking about a 335 wide so as far as personnel all you need is just your fastest uh player right here and also great hip power you don't really have to be fast you just need any decent speed and hit power. I have Isaiah Simmons here because he's the perfect example. But you you could have used somebody like uh, Buda Baker or even Jalen Thompson. I think he has decent hit power. Uh, just nobody like, of course, somebody who can't tackle. You needed somebody that could tackle because we want to get his sticks. Um, now the play we've been talking about is cover four, show two. So real quick, I'm gonna show you. Like, yes, I said you can run this versus any formation, but there's formations that I do not love it against because I can't blow it up in the backfield. Um, those formations are. Or uh, I form close. You can't. It's hard to blow it up in the backfield. I form close. Every run out of there is kind of hard too. If you want I form close defense, please go check out my video. Uh, I believe I dropped it about two months ago, but it still very much works. Uh, now every other I form, yes, I do like it against, and also single back. The only one that's kind of iffy is single back wing pair. But I'll show you those. I'm not gonna show you I form close. Please go check that out if you want to go see it. Um, I'm actually going to start off in H slot because I do believe people do run H slot. I have seen it before. Um, now, the setup, so you want to press. Now, if you don't know what can what way you need to crash your line to blow things up, I always recommend um, I always recommend slanting them up like this. But versus this formation right here, I form H slot, I know that I can slant my line up and it's going to blow up any of the uh, stretch alert looky. So right here, I will show you that right here with the user. I'm going to show you the pattern you need to follow. So uh, as you see, I did miss my hole. But even if you miss your hole, you're always going to have help. And that's why I do love this defense because uh, I'll show you the run fits real quick. So right here on this side, you see we do have our safety and we have that left corner that has an F on it. He's actually in the run fit as well. So let's look at the other side. So you see how both of them are in the run fit. That's why I really love this defense because our safeties are getting involved. And also it's actually really hard to bomb this coverage. I, I've never got bombed in this coverage. Uh, I can honestly say I've never got bombed. But you just want to press. Um, spread your defense online not spread them but crash them up do not spread them and i like to call over the top now let's go and show you the path that i was trying to tell you about so certain formations um it's going to be hard to blow up as you can see right there but you're always going to be able to contain it so um you're going to make it real tough for your opponent to want to run it so let's do take a look at i form slot close or anything like i form slot chase i believe that's the same thing same thing with this formation you want to slant up why because you're going to be able to stop any of the stretches and it also does good against inside zone so as you can see right there um i mean we just we just have help flowing and that's why i really love this and it's really downhill football with this formation now i will go ahead and flip it one time uh, let's see uh stretch alert not stretch alert half back stretch see right here go ahead and press Slant our line, go and call to snap the ball. Now with this, you want to go outside. So you do not want to try to blow up the stretch. If they run into the weak side, you need to make sure that you're able to fill that outside gap because the worst thing that can happen is if they get outside. Because if they get outside, there's going to be nobody there. Again, if they get outside, there's going to be nobody there. I'm telling you this because you will give up a touchdown if you try and blow up this run, like try to hit like this gap right here in between them. Or if you even try to uh, hit this gap or something um, between these two right here, if I can get it. So you see what I did with my user. This is what you need to do. You need to go outside right here. Blow it up. That's exactly how you need to play the stretch alert lookies from certain formation. And this one of those certain formations is I form slot. So um, now I do actually want to go ahead and back out. And I am going to show you again single back because uh, I'm not, I want to be able to get in as much as I can with this video because it's going to be more of a... Um, you need to know what to do versus what formation. So I will show you single back wing pair real quick. I'm only going to touch on probably the halfback zone um, because nobody really runs alert. And also, I'm, I'm in the Raiders playbook for offense just so you can kind of get an idea of um, 
you know what to do so with this formation same thing i like to slant up now the reason i do not like this versus this and i'll show you here real quick is because right there it does do a good job but it's they can still run outside if they want to and i'll show you a good example of that right here um I'm gonna show you what it looks like probably in game speed so let's say they snap the ball you kind of wait you hesitate now you see how they can kind of uh, take that outside now it's real hard in practice mode but trust me in game mode it's gonna be that way so it's, it's you know it's a little it's a little bit harder but it, as you can still see it really does do a good job of containing the run containing as long as your people can make tackles that's something you can't control now on alert lookies you see how we can shoot that gap right there um all i did was slap my line up that's all you need to do um i'll show you that here again real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and move on because i want to get as many formations in as i can but i also want to make sure that you are understanding exactly what i'm doing so i like to stand about right here now if they're running an alert looking where the wide receiver runs a slant then i recommend taking square put them in a burnt hook so that way he can play that slant a lot better so and then you can still be able to blow up the run the same all you need to do is just whip around so um i'm hoping that y'all can see what i did and i don't have to go into detail but do let me know if i actually needed to go into detail about that but let's next let's take a look at something like wing tight you i've had people run this on me now anytime some people run wing tight any type of wing tight formations i like to always slant my line to the right um so this is just something that you need to know any type of single back wing formations like wing t um not wing t wing z wing u whatever they're called make sure you slant your line to the right now uh, i don't remember what playoff call we're about to see here but the stretch i meant the dive so right there on the dive you actually have a chance to blow it up in the back foot if they don't id correctly um now you're not going to be able to blow up every time but as you can tell you're going to always have help so again you just want to press and then you want to slant your line to the right now i like call it over the top so right here as you can see if you can head it down right sometimes you can blow it up but the good thing about this defense is that our safeties are involved in the run fit and i'll show you that here real quick so as you can see right here we actually have both our safeties that are involved in run fits so that's why i really love this because we have what we have 11 people not 11 <laughs> we have nine people that's going to be involved in this run play you know so that's why this run play is really good so i do want to go ahead and show you stretch as well um all you want to do is same thing same exact setup press slant to the right crash up now uh, i'm gonna delay my user a little bit so you can see but even with me delaying my user we're still able to go and blow this up so that's why i really love this run um i'm not gonna go into replay about that one uh i just want to go ahead and kind of move on a little bit so let's just talk about wing tight like i said any wing tight you should be able to just slant your line to the right and then you'll be good so right here i'll show you you just want to follow the flow of the running back follow the flow that's why i love this because your user is free you are free even if you make a mistake you're gonna have help so that's why like i said i love this defense because you're you're absolutely gonna have help no matter what so the last formations that i will touch on is going to be um more of along the lines of the single back deuce closes and you know the wing slots and all those so i know a lot of people run those so that's why i was saving this choice at the end so that way i can kind of go a little bit more into depth so with single back deuce close i still love to slant my line up why? Because it's a balanced formation, so they can run a stretch either right or left. So right here, I'm not sure what I call, so we're going to see. Okay, stretch, so now I'm going to come over here and then fill the gap. So that's why I said, you see, I didn't even make the tackle, and we're still blowing up in the backfield. Nine times out of ten, this is going to be the same way. And the reason I do not have gameplay is because you're going to see this. Uh, you see this all the time with me showing game film. Um, so if you want to see this, make sure you go watch any of my CFL videos. You'll see this is the exact defense that I'm running. So right here, this is going to snap the ball. And like I said, your job is to make sure you stay outside. You see how it's fighting outside the whole time? That is your job because they're, that's the only place that they can go. If you can get them to turn inside, then you're going to stuff it. Because, like I said, realistically, you cannot blow up every single run in the backfield. I don't care how good your run defense is. You can't blow up every single run in the backfield. There's going to be runs that leak out. And that's why you said, I want you to pay attention to my user. So you see right here how I'm getting blocked, but I'm not trying to fill this gap right here between 75 and 72. So where I'm going is straight outside. You see how I fight straight outside? Because I know I have a whole lot of help going inside. So see, look at this. You see how I have him like one two three four five six seven eight i got about eight people right there that's inside so there's no reason for me to be going inside to give up a touchdown so even that that still even applies in real life concepts though as well that's why i really love this defense now let's talk about wing flex close so wing flex close what i like to do i still like to press now most of the time i do like to slant my line to the right so as you notice uh, i like to slant my line either to the right or up so that's just something that you need to notate as well so right here to stretch all you need to do is flow to the outside and that's all you need to make sure because a lot of times you you won't even have to blow it up as you can see like how how many times we stopped on the backfield and how many times have i actually made the tackle not that many right so right here i will show you the uh stretch but to the other side so you can just see it so like i said press slant our line to the right 
uh, crash up. Now, what do I see? I see stretch. Okay, let me make sure I get outside. And a lot of times, if you're trying to get outside, it's going to free up somebody else so they can have the outside, if that makes sense. Now, um, next thing I do want to show you, actually, is going to be the dive. So the dive is going to be the same exact thing. Just go ahead and press, slant our line to the right, call over the top. Go ahead and snap the ball. We're, we're coming straight down. As you can tell, I did miss my gap. But even if you miss your gap, you're going to have safety help. Um, I'll show you the correct gap that you're supposed to hit. Um, because, like I said, you're not always going to guess right. So it's more of a guessing game uh, to see if you can whip around. Like I said, keep in mind, this is practice mode. So a lot of times it's really hard to blow up runs in the backfield on practice mode. But you still can do it. As you can see right here, if I can whip around and boom, there you go. So if you even want to take that into game, if you know single back wing uh, flex, single back wing flex close, okay, then I just need to... Um, whip around my user to the left uh, gap. So if that's how you want to remember it, uh, I'll show you here again one more time. Boom, snap the ball, maybe I go around the left. And right there is, of course, I didn't blow it up, but they only gained one or two yards. I'm okay with that, I can live with that. So um, this might be the last formation I'll show you right here, because like I said, I can go on and on about these formations, but um, I do want to show you wing slot, the stretch alert. So I get so many picks with this, because um, I like to set my zone drops on zero on this guy. And he, he goes crazy. I'm not going to show that this uh, this uh, this video, though. But he goes crazy. And also, I'm blowing up the stretch. So a lot of times, they see me fly down right there. So they're trying to throw that because they see me. And I, I get so many picks on that. Um, and you'll really, you'll really love that. So uh, now, last thing I will show you, of course, and that's going to be a video, is going to be what if they run dive out of this. So it's going to spread our line. Not spread our line. Crash up right here. And like I said, a lot of times, you just want to kind of whip around. And you want to muddy up that read. You won't really blow up many dives. But you're going to muddy up that read for the user. And that's going to be uncomfortable running it. But anyways, um, be on the lookout because I actually will drop my defense that I like for 335 wide versus uh, shotgun runs. So if, you, if you're interested in that, please just go ahead and like the video. That'll let me know, like, hey, I'm interested in that. And, hey, also, I did like what you're doing with this particular uh, scheme. So anyway, that's wrap up for this video. I hope you all have a blessed day. I'm Rage Rail, and I'm out.